So this morning, we want to give you a deeper look at who Trump's co-defendants are. Atlanta News First, Rebecca Schramm begins our live team coverage. She's at the Fulton County Courthouse. Rebecca, certainly a lot of these names are uh, pretty well known. Others, not so much. Right, Gravier, you know, we've told you about Mark Meadows and Rudy Giuliani, but yeah, what about some of the others named in the Georgia Trump indictment? We'll take a look because one of the defendants is the former chair of the Georgia Republican Party. David Schaefer is accused of overseeing a December 2020 meeting at the state capitol with 16 GOP electors who signed documents claiming Trump won Georgia. Sean Still, who's now a state senator, and Kathy Latham, who was chair of the Coffee County Republican Party at the time, also both signed documents saying they were GOP electors. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis used Georgia's racketeering law, its RICO statute, to accuse Trump and his associates of conspiracy. The indictment includes 161 overt acts. Some of those acts may seem quite innocent uh, in and of themselves, but they are each steps, according to the prosecutor, to show a pattern of activity that is, in fact, composed of ultimately of crimes. Now, all 19 defendants, including former President Trump, must report uh, to turn themselves in by the end of next week. And according to the sheriff, that's going to happen at the Fulton County Jail.